What's up everybody, um, this is just a quick video to uh, demonstrate how you can actually get the PS5 DualSense controller to work with um, your Android phone or tablet. Um, there are known issues with the key mapping of this controller not being compatible with Android and I just want to show you that there is a pretty simple fix around it for using Xbox Game Pass um, and I'll show you that now. So as you can see, if you use the Game Pass app from the Play Store itself, um, obviously I can't get into it using the normal X button. You have to press um, circle. And just to show you, this app is not compatible. Um, it just sends you back to the home screen. And also when playing games, the mapping of the buttons is completely incorrect. So how do we get around that? is if we go into Play Store and we want to search for type it in Edge Canary from Microsoft now you want to download this it's a web browser but what it'll do is it'll give you access then obviously in your web browser to open um, Xbox Game Pass from here um, if I go back to the home screen what I can show you is that now if I go into a game and press the X button it actually works but I'm not going to do that yet because what I want to do is show you how to create a shortcut from that pressing the three dots and then um, add to phone and then what I'll do is and I'll show you it'll create a cloud gaming um, icon on your home screen again as long as you know that on the home screen of Android you're going to have to use the obviously the wrong mapping code so it will be circle to open but just to show you I'm in flight simulator here and I can press X to go into circle to go back and press the PS button to open up my tab press it to go back again it works so that's the way you do it guys use the Microsoft Edge Canary app um, in the browser type in Xbox Game Pass log in and then save the icon as cloud gaming go into it and you're up and running all works every keypad button works as it should there we are